All right, welcome back to another episode at my Drum Teacher React series. Today I'm going to be reacting to and analyzing a live drum cam video from Paul Masurkiewicz, drummer of Cannibal Corpse, playing their classic Hammer Smashed Face. Before we start out, I want to give a big shout out to Vladislav from Charchi Kopito for sending me a new pair of double pedals. It's important to mention that I'm not an official endorser, but Vladislav sent me this pedal, so every time I'm gonna analyze a drummer who is using the Charge Copito pedals, I can tell you in detail how this pedal feels if I set them up the same way as the drummer does it. In this case, it's Paul. In future videos, I'm gonna analyze drummers like Kerim Lechner, aka Krim, or Dan Presland, Ken Pedeni, David Deport, among others. And I'm gonna set up the pedals the exact same way that they have them set up, so I can tell you in detail how the pedal feels. All right, that's it for this introduction. Also a big shout out to Drummers from Hell, Rafael, thanks again for the great video. I'm gonna link it in the description below as well, so you can find the full version of this video on their YouTube channel. All right, that's it, let's get it on. You can see that he is counting quarter notes on his upper leg during the bass solo. So this way it's easier to stay in time. Let's talk about that blast beat variation for a bit. Before we're gonna dissect it in detail, let's watch a slow motion of this blast beat and then you're gonna be able to see exactly what I mean and what's interesting about that one. So I'm gonna slow it down by 50%. So what you can see is the following. When he started the blast beat on the snare drum and the hi-hat, he started out with the so-called corpse blast, which is right hand leading, right hand and right foot together in unison on the beat, left hand, left foot playing off beat, again unison. So in slow motion it looks like this. The so-called corpse blast. A bit faster it sounds something like this. And after a couple of hits, he switches to a hammer blast beat, which is right hand, left hand and right foot playing in unison. And only the left foot is playing in between. Slow would sound something like this. A bit faster. So for the first couple of hits, he's playing a regular corpse blast, right, left, right, left. And then he switches to unison, a hammer blast. Unison with right hand, left hand and right foot. Let's watch it again. Corpse Blast, alternating singles, and now he switches to the Hammer Blast, unison strokes. All right, let me speed up to the regular tempo again. Now let's talk about his pedal settings for a bit. Um, Charge Copito pedals, uh, medium to high spring tension, and he's using the original Charge Copito beaters like I do it in this video. And the thing about these beaters is that they are extremely, extremely heavy. One of the heaviest beaters on the market in my opinion. The way he set it up with the, the VDL, so all the way to the front, so I compare this 
this little thing right here to the VDL of an axis pedal. It's all the way to the front. You can see it here on the screen with his left foot. If you set up your charge your computer pedals that way, what you get as an end result is a direct drive pedal that's fast, like a direct drive pedal, but um, you get way more power that way. You have to do your work so it's not like an axis that's really light, lightweight and has a light feel. It is a heavy pedal if you set it up that way, but you get a tremendous amount of punch and power. So to me this pedal right now feels like kind of like an Iron Cobra chain driven pedals but with may, way more power. So I'm not playing really loud, it's the pedal and the heavy beater that's producing this loud sound. One other thing that's also interesting is that Paul is always resting the bass drum beater against the bass drum head. So his starting and stopping position looks like this. He's playing a double bass pattern. Faster double bass pattern. So starting and stopping position always pressed against the bass drum head and he's not using bass drum triggers. Just needs a microphone and if you set the pedal up this way with the extremely heavy beater it's way easier to get a big sound out of your kick drums. Alright, let's go on. Let's talk about his full technique at higher tempos a little bit. One thing that you can see, you can see it perfectly right here, uh, but let me rewind it a bit, then you can see it in detail. Here you can see it a little bit better. One thing that he does with both feet is that he's pushing down with the ball of his foot, not his toes. So that's the main pressure point. But one thing that happens with his right foot is, you can see it right here that he's lifting his big toe. This is like just a small detail, but try it yourself. If you lift your big toe or your toes like that, you will immediately feel that you get some extra tension in your shin muscles, which is something that we don't really want because your shin muscles are the weakest muscle group in the legs and you don't want any extra tension there. He doesn't do it with his left foot, it's only with the right foot. Of course, he's able to play it fine, perfectly fine, although he's curling his toe like that, but still, just a little detail. Again, switching from the Corpse Blast to the Hammer Blast. Again, you can see no bass drum triggers, pushing the bass drum beat against the bass drum head every time he's stopping. Right here, you can see the stopping position. Right hand you can see a mix of wrist and finger motion, wrist turning motion and a little bit of fingers. Again, pushing the bass drum beat against the bass drum head. Still one of the most brutal bands out there. <laughs> Amazing. But his foot technique at mid tempos, it's classic heel up, a mix of hip flexors and calf muscles.
All right, that's it for this short video. A big shout out to Paul, one of the nicest guys I ever met on tour, amazing human being and an awesome drummer. Another big shout out to Vladislav of Chachi Kopito. Thanks again for sending me this pedal. If you guys have any further questions about this pedal, feel free to comment below. I'm also going to link their website in the description below. Once again, I don't get any money for this, but thank you again to Vladislav for this extra service. All right, that's it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Have a great day. Cheers from Vienna. Bye.